Resident Evil Season 2 might not be happening anytime soon. Yes, you heard it right. The first season debuted on July 14th, 2022. Despite having so much hope, the show received a lot of terrible views for its writing and slow pace. But still, it did manage to secure the number one spot on the Netflix top TV shows just for a few days. You! None of you would even be alive! But critics, as well as the audience, slammed this series with negative reviews. Now its future hangs in doubts. But the Cine Wizard is here to help you out. Because we are going to tell you if there would be season 2, then what you can expect from it. So stay tuned and enjoy the show. Resident Evil hasn't been renewed for a second season. There is absolutely no official confirmation or any sort of announcement regarding season 2. Come down, okay? The first season gets 72 million hours on the streaming service in the first week. In the second week, it held on to the number 2 spot with 73 million hours. But third week is where things start to get a bit gloomy. It saw a 63% drop in viewership globally, which puts it at their risk. Other Netflix shows like Archive 81 and Cowboy Bebop also suffered the same fate when their viewership drops in second or third week. Hello? What do you say, fellas? The same thing is happening with this series. That's why Netflix has not greenlit Resident Evil Season 2 yet. Simon, it's late. Are you joking, Mom? I did what I had to, to keep our family together. In other words, there is a 50% chance of its cancellation. However, Andrew Dab, the creator of this series, has explained that he has already been talking about his plans for a second season. So we hope there will be Resident Evil Season 2. Before we divulge into the potential plot of Season 2, let's have a quick look at Season 1. Him. The first season is split into two parallel timelines. In the first timeline of 2022, Albert Wesker settles into the new Raccoon City with his two daughters, Jade and Billy. Welcome home. Wow. New Raccoon City used to be an old factory town. In the second timeline of 2036, it is shown that the world has collapsed due to T-Virus. Only mutated monsters and zombies roam the streets. The story follows Jade Wesker as she tries to find a cure to save the last remnants of humanity. Day 167 of observation shows no sign of leadership structure or higher brain function. Now Resident Evil Season 2 will likely pick up the story where it left in first season. Place for you and I. 
It will focus on Bert, Billy and Jade alongside Bea, her daughter. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! <laughs> <laughs> there are many plot threads in two timelines which need to be addressed. Let's discuss the first timeline and its loopholes. Is this your locker? I don't... What happened? Open it. It seems that what may have caused the initial outbreak in Raccoon City is the escaped Tyrant. One of the most powerful bioweapons created by Umbrella, Tyrant was seen breaking out of the demolished Umbrella lab. Such a sweet little soldier! Such a loyal little twin. Then we saw Al. Who gives Jade the contact of Ada Wong, a former employee of the original Albert Wesker? She is a master of hand-to-hand -hand combat. Ada may teach Jade how to fight in Season 2. The biggest mystery that needs to be solved in Resident Evil Season 2 is Billy Wesker. Whatever you did, stop it! I can't. We don't know what changed her mind to join Umbrella Corporation. A lot of people are about to die. Maybe you. In 2036, Jade will try her best to save her daughter Bea, who was taken by Billy in the last episode. Hey, Mama. Stay the fuck away from her. I'm the future. I don't need you anymore. She is likely doing all kinds of experimentation on the girl, as she saw the mutated crocodile ignoring the child. So all these questions will be answered in Resident Evil Season 2. If Resident Evil Season 2 happens, it will continue the story with the original cast. If that happens, we will be seeing Ella Balinska as Jade Wesker in 2036 and Tamara Smart as young Jade Wesker. Adeline Rodolph will be back as adult Billy Wesker while Sina Agudong as a young Billy in 2022, Paula Nunes as Evelyn Marcus, Ella Ziegelmeyer as Bia, and Ahad Rajamir as Arjun Batra will likely to return in Season 2. The role of Ada Wong is not decided yet. Moreover, there will be additional cast members in the second season who are not selected yet. It's gonna be awesome at heroin. We are a long time away from seeing a second season of Resident Evil on Netflix. Even the writing process is yet to be started. It has been reported that NJ Dab still has to write the next season. Who knows if he'll do that before Netflix makes it official. Only after that, filming would be started which will take no less than 11 to 13 months. Harbor to pull from. Like, we sat down and we're like, well, what can we put into the show? And just the options were, in some ways, overwhelming. I'm playing Albert Wesker, who's ostensibly the greatest scientist in the world, at least the greatest biochemist. I mean, the writers have done such an amazing job of kind of incorporating this very delicate tapestry of... It talks about human nature in a way that I don't think we've seen before. There is a long wait ahead of us. If Resident Evil Season 2 happens, we aren't expecting to see it on Netflix before 2024. <laughs> what do you think? Resident Evil deserves a second season or not? What do you think about the future of this show? Tell us through the comment section and keep watching the Cine Visit for further updates. If you like this video, then support us by subscribing to our channel. 
and hit the bell icon to stay updated.